Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Lee McGregor himself. Lee, oh, just turned on Instagram and found out that you've uh, you've signed with Eddie Hearn and Probellum, co-management, uh, promotional team. Fight December 18, man. Just break it down for me. How happy are you to sign with Eddie Hearn? I know, obviously, I'm, I'm delighted. Um, it's been been a long time coming, you know. Um, there's been lots of talk and and um, a lot of questions saying like, what's going on? Why, what, why you not know, got like this big promoter? Why, like, what, what's happening? Can like, what's happening with your career? And um, I've always known um, that the big opportunity was coming. I just um, I had to just be patient and uh, bide my time. And and the times now, the times come. Massive announcements over the last couple of days, and um, I, I'm, I'm buzzing, mate. It's, um, I feel like with these two working together, guiding my career, it's, it's only going to um, benefit me massively and really um, get me onto that world stage. Well, with Eddie Hearn, I mean, like you will have the opportunity to to fight all over the globe. It seems like Eddie loves to get his fighters out fighting in the, the in the US, whether that be Vegas, New York. Phoenix on random spots and you know what I mean Texas so again it's 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 going to do nothing but wonders for your career and are you excited about the prospect of what the future holds oh definitely like like you said there like it's the massive opportunities um we wear match room uh probellum as well like the 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 places that they're getting their fighters to fight and like you said like my dream um is to be fighting over here in the states and and places like that, and with them two guiding me and, and um, promoting me, then 100% that's what's going to happen, and that's what I've dreamed about as a kid. I've basically signed a deal to to do that. So my dream's not done yet, it's not came true yet, but another another step on the ladder towards that. Well, that's in talking about a step on the ladder, man. You, you're, you're out on December 18 in Manchester on the Tesoro Park Accord. Um, you're facing a, an Armenian... Olympian, I, I believe that you said as well. I, I, Abgari, Abgari, I hope you can say his name. Yeah. Right. Um, what do you know of him, man? Have you, have you have you known him for a long time? You've had his opponent. Have you studied him? What do you know? Um, yeah, Narek Abgari, and um, I, he was to be honest, he was round about um, just sort of as I was approaching, um, like the top level in the amateur game. He was he was in and around there, and uh, never ever faced cross paths on or anything like that but he had fought um, same opponents to myself and all that in the amateurs won I believe um, European medals and all that as an amateur Olympian like I said 2016 Olympics he went to um, very good amateur pedigree was um, I think he's over trains over in the wild card with Freddie Roach was tipped as to be um, like the next the next big thing um, he was 13, 14 and all or something. And then he, he fought a tough Mexican, lost that in a close fight. He's come back and he's got back to winning ways. So he's 15 and one, obviously still hungry. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a tough test. Uh, it's a hard fight, one I'm ready for. It's, we tried, we tried everything. Um, obviously I was ordered um, to have a final eliminator with Jason Maloney, which was basically all done and agreed. And they decided to opt out from that fight. Um, and then we went to the next guy in line, which was a Thai fella who's actually, he opted out as well, but you can't blame him because he's opted out to actually go in and step, step in and fight anyway. Mm -hmm. And then we tried a Russian, um, Nikolai Potapov, and who opted out from that as well. So we were just going to find ourselves chasing opponents to, um, in a final eliminator for the IBF title and then end up probably missing our chance to fight this year. And I've been training for a, a couple of months now. I've been back training, back to while well, I'm over here in Vegas now. And um, the plan was always to get out before the end of the year. So mm -hmm. we went to the next, the next basically available um, hardest test. And, and it is a hard test. Um, we also, there was a, a French, another French fighter who actually called me out um, after one of his fights and uh, said he wanted to fight me. I think it was early Conkey and he was offered and um, for some reason that fight didn't happen and we've now got this fight. So 
firmly focused on him and got a job to do on 18th of December. And like you said, if you want to go on and achieve all these dreams, then I need to beat this guy on the 18th of December. The thing is as well, Eddie Hearn said there's a big show in April as well. And he, the fact that you and Cash are both in that same stable and, and as well, like I've always wanted you and Cash to, uh, selfishly again to fight for a world title to get, if there was a world title on the line, but it seems that you might fight each other before that world title is, is on the line. Is that, do you think that would be the case? Quite possibly. Um, we just have to see how things, how things go. Um, just the weekend there, we, that's a great, um, like it shows us that you can't be overlooking any opponents and you can't really predict anything until it's, you're in that ring because although you're, you're confident and you should be beating guys and, and things like that, anything can happen in boxing. And I believe me, Cash, have both got fights to come through mm-hmm. before the year's out, uh, before we can even uh, discuss the rematch yet. But, of course, that's what that's the fight everyone wants to see. It's a fight I want. Um, I believe it's the fight they want. So it's um, get through these fights before the end of the year, and then I think it'll be see what the options are. Um, but like you say, we're both we're both um, within touching distance now with that world level, and whether or not we have to fight in an eliminator to then the winner goes on to step step up and face um, one of the world champions. Then so be it. I'm prepared for whatever that is, um, but first my job is to get the get the job done on December 18th against Abgayan, and then um, we'll see what's what from there. But these these are the kind of nights I live for. And these are the kind of fights that that I want. It's life changing stuff. So, I, I, but ever since I've um, I believe ever since I've teamed up and joined joined with Ben. Um, my career, my life, um, me as a fighter, as a person, everything has changed so much in a positive way. And um, I, so that's why I think going into this rematch, I, I could not be in a better, better position. So whether that be after this fight, whether that be for a world title, I don't care. What I know is I'm going to be 110% ready and very, very confident in getting the job done. Definitely, like as 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 well, like Eddie Hearn has brought young fighters on and, and got them them opportunities. So how, when you look at your career, you've mentioned there that you're happier now, you're a better fighter and that. You're in touch and distance. You're a European champion. You've defended it as well. So when do you see yourself when you when you line when you're laying your bed at night in Vegas before you've had a, after your training session? When do you see yourself fighting for that world title? Do you think it'll be in twenty twenty two? I no, I do. I do believe I will get my shot in twenty twenty two, um, probably more summer towards the back end of the year. But I definitely believe I'll get my shot, and um, I've um, I've not had it. I've not done it the easy way. You know, I've done it the hard way. I won my first professional title in my fourth fight. Um, then I won the Commonwealth title in my fifth. Um, and then a unified Commonwealth and British titles in my eighth, and then British Commonwealth European after ten. So I've not had it easy, and I think that's why I deserve these deals, um, opportunities, and fights that I'm like I just said, like we just said, within touch and distance of. So uh, I feel I've, I've definitely earned, earned the right to to challenge for a world title next year. Um, I believe different times, like we said, timing, opportunities. Uh, these maybe got guys opportunities that maybe no even deserved or no even done what I've done already. And I've only had 11 fights. So I believe different circumstances, a wee bit of luck on my side, I would actually be able to challenge and win a world title right now. Unfortunately, the champions and the crop of talent up there just now is extremely experienced and very, very good. So that's why I've got these guys and the best team around me to, to keep me right and, and buy my time, like I said. And my time will come. I'm still young. And like like we said, I've only had 11 fights. So I've got plenty, plenty of time. So they're in no rush with me. But at the same time, the way I'm progressing, the only the only um, thing they can do with me is just keep keep pushing me on to that next step. And that next step is, is world level. Definitely. And just one final one before I let you go. I know you're going to get ready for sparring and that out in Vegas. So um, one final word on signing with uh, Eddie Hearn and, and propelling for yourself. 
I know I'm just absolutely delighted. I feel like um, with, with these two behind me, I'm going to have massive opportunities. And like I said earlier on in the interview, like my dreams are going to be coming true um, signing signing this deal because I, I believe the opportunities fighting out in America, fighting at Ten Castle Park, these kind of things that I've dreamed of as a kid are are becoming more realistic as as the months go by. So I just need to keep working hard. And um, just thanks to all my team, thanks to everyone involved that, that got this done. And um, the future is looking bright. Definitely, mate. Listen, well done, Leah. I'm happy for you, mate. You deserve it, mate. You've been, you've, uh, you fought some of the hardest opponents in just eleven fights. So well done to you on that front as well. And congratulations again, mate. And listen, enjoy the rest of Vegas. I'm sick of the place, mind you, but you enjoy <laughs> it. Uh, nice one. I'll catch Andy. up, with you, brother. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Lee. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate.